Hello everybody, my name is Jericho Lopez, I'm a storyboard artist, and today I'm going to show you how to animate a layer as seen in this scene. So to quickly break down the scene, we'll go up here and we'll see that the actual only thing moving are these buildings. To achieve this effect or a similar effect, the first step I would do would be to draw all of my layers on one panel. A panel would be this red square we're working on over here in the timeline, and my layers are over here. As you can see, every element is accounted for, the layers of the character, foreground element right here, and the background element over here which is the building that will be moving an important part of this step would be to make sure all of your layers are organized correctly this is because any effect you do in storyboard pro it will only take effect on different panels if the layers are named the same thing for step number two of this process i would time the entire panel without adding any additional panels. I was timing it to a song. I knew that I wanted the entire clip to essentially be 14 seconds long. So this panel, the single red panel right here is 14 seconds long. If you're doing a different effect, let's say it's like a, a cowboy standoff, maybe it's a three second panel. That's something that you would have to figure out uh, in the pre-planning stage. So step number three is really simple. I just go all the way to the top of my layers, click it, and then go all the way to the bottom of my layers, click that, and hold shift at the same time so it selects all my layers, and then go to the left a little and click this lock icon. This locks all of your layers, and a locked layer means you can't really, you can't do anything to it, you can't draw on it, you can't erase on it. And then I find the layer that is going to move in this particular scene, it's the buildings, and you, there it is, you can click to see it or not, and then I unlock it, which means I can affect this and because all the other layers are locked, only the building layer will be affected, meaning only the moving layer will be affected. Okay, now let's really get to it. Um, everything is locked except for the layer that you want moving. Hit this little icon over here, it's orange. It turns on the animating layer or something so that you can add keyframes and move the object that you want to move. When you applied this, I'm going to turn it off again real quick. When you applied this, you can see that there's a um, a keyframe that's been turned on over here right underneath the panels. It's so tiny. It's so small It's annoying. Sometimes I forget where it is, but it's right there and that keyframe has only been summoned for this particular layer with the orange icon If I switch to a different layer You see that it actually disappears and the keyframe only comes back when you're uh, on the affected layer with the orange man This keyframe has started at the very beginning of my panel and then if we go click at the very end of the panel, if we wanted to add another keyframe, we would go over here on the left side, really small and add that plus sign, uh, which now has connected the first keyframe over here to the last keyframe. So now that the layer that you want to animate can be animated and that it has keyframes, now we actually make it move. For my particular scene, these buildings in the background go from screen left to screen right it'll be different for you but to make your movement layer move you click on this square over here that says layer transform um and then you'll see hopefully this square box um sometimes i can't like move it and i have to like kind of open up this square a number of times and this is when before i had all my locked layers everything would be selected and everything would just get crazy but because i've locked the layers the only thing that can possibly move are these buildings um so select the entire layer that you want to move and then uh start moving it i have to move it using the directional arrows on my laptop but hopefully you can move it on the mouse for you i'm moving it to the left and right like in real time right now you can see it in orange um Right there, it's happening. I'm, I'm holding it down as we speak. Okay, I've moved it enough to make my point. Um, you'll see all these little orange marks have been made. Those are like keyframes. And then if we go all the way to the front of the panel, the very first keyframe, um, and then we hold this red arrow across the timeline and scrub through, we can see that the buildings are moving according to the timeline and how many keyframes there are. So that's basically the effect of making the layer move across um, a certain period of time. This is the last little bit of functionality I get out of this effect, and it's only doable for me if I had timed it 
correctly in step number two. The, originally the entire thing that gets rendered was one panel but eventually right before I decided to render it I decided what if I split it into two panels and I had the character close their eyes right there to cause less frustration if I just timed the entire panel um, without any movements um, I could then at the end decide to split the panel and add additional uh, movement. Even as I added more panels, um, the movement layer remained the same. The information was still there. Since I've timed this entire scene already, um, the I could add any additional poses I wanted to and the buildings would still be moving accordingly. Um, there's lots of other effects that have been applied to this clip, like ca moving the camera and adding these mats here for these characters. I could explain, uh, I could explain how to do those too, but you know, uh, someone would have to tell me that's what they want. Um, otherwise, please like this video and yeah.